Good morning. My name is Gladys Gorman Douglas, and I am a storyteller about quilting. And what we're doing today, we're having a traditional bed turning ceremony. First, I'd like to thank John with the Indiana Traditional Arts of Indiana for inviting the Sisters of the Cloth from Fort Wayne, Indiana to appear at this show. <clears throat> the Sisters of the Cloth currently consist of about 30 to 31 or 32 members and each quilter quilts in different patterns, each have different styles, each have different preferences. But they all get together and they have a whole lot of fun doing their own thing. And this, these sisters have been together now for about seven or eight years. And I'd really like to applaud their efforts, their energies, their ingenuity, and their creativity. And we're going to get started with this first quilt. And this is called a postage stamp quilt. It is made by one of the Sisters of the Cloth whose name is Maxine Stovall. It took her about eight hours, eight months, eight months <laughs> to get this quilt together. And if you look at it, I know it has over a thousand little one inch pieces in there. That really took some time, some love, some energy. And see how beautiful that is. And most of these quilts are all one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the neat work, how each, each square matches. Everything is centered. And I really think that type of quilting is nerve soothing. <laughs> and excuse me, I should have introduced. This is Maxine Stovall on the left. She's a Sisters of the Cloth. And this is Jackie Seal on the right. She's a Sisters of the Cloth. She's one of the original founders of the Sisters of the Cloth. Okay, the second quilt is called uh, Tulips and Log Cabin. This is by Letha Anderson. Is that right? Yeah. And this is for her sister's birthday, Katrina. And Katrina loves all kinds of purples in any shade, in any fashion, doing anything you want with a purple. So that, and this has taken her, oh, roughly two or three months of uh, putting on and putting down to get this done. Can you see the tulips in the log cabin? That is so beautiful. Oh. Who did this one? I did. Oh, this is a this is quilt number two by Maxine Stovall. This is use her use. She's just um, demonstrating or experimenting with different types of African fabric, and this is a circle pattern. And uh, this, since this was her first experiment, it's just beautiful. Look at her handiwork and look at the backing on it. Also, what a gorgeous! Turn it down so they can see the backing. Fronts of quilts are beautiful, but so are backings of quilts, yeah. Let them see the back too, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So when you're, you're doing your quilt quilting, you can be very creative. There's no cert certain thing that it has to be a certain way. Just let your creative energies flow and some kind of way it always come out beautiful. I've seen quilts for years and years, but I've never seen two alike. <laughs> okay, we're ready for... Uh, th this is quilt number what? Okay. Okay. This quilt is made by Kathleen Fitcher. She's also a Sisters of the Cloth. And the name of this quilt is called Voice of Change. And this tells of the story and the history of the Civil Rights Movement all the way from the 60s on up to President-elect uh, uh, Obama. And so if you look at the creativity and the different articles and things in there, uh, 
And this will be on further display, I think, upstairs. You can take a closer look. But isn't that beautiful? And she also used a bunch of the Underground Railroad quilt patches in there. And each of those quilt patches told different uh, things about the Underground Railroad. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Very good. <laughs>